Hey guys, it's your boy Slow. Welcome to another episode of Benfica Career Mode. Now today we have three matches. Yes, three matches. We're going to play the first against Maritimo, then we're playing against Guimarães, and then we're going to end up with the big match against Sporting Lisbon, um, which are currently maybe second. I'm not sure. It was either Boa Vista or um, Sporting Lisbon in second place. So, oh, there we go. Sporting in second. So if we beat them, we're going to be isolated at the top of the Primeira League. Anyway, uh, Maritimo, a team from Madeira, quite a difficult team to, to beat away. Um, they have quite a hostile crowd. That's not hostile as in they're not violent, but they're a, a crowd that do get behind their team. And it should be an interesting match. Obviously, that may or may not apply to FIFA. Um, but anyway, yeah, enjoy the match. Let's go straight to the highlights of Maritimo SL Benfica. So here we are lads playing away against Maritimo Stadion Neda because that obviously sounds like a, a Portuguese stadium. We're playing in an island off the coast of Africa right now, which isn't true because this is only a game. Um, but anyway, Maritimo, one of those teams that have won the Primeira Liga, they did win it in the 1920s. Uh, they've had some uh, good players along the way, not Cristiano Ronaldo, that he didn't play for Maritimo. By the way, just in case you thought um, th that they're the only big team in Madeira, there's another team called Nacional, which is another um, of the big two there. Uh, but yeah, it should be a relatively good match. They are difficult to beat, like I said before. Um, and yeah, let's hope we can score some goals and isolate ourselves in the top of the Primeira Liga. Um, actually, Bulnes is another team that have won the Primeira Liga. Bulnes was, incidentally, the first ever team to play a match at the Santiago Bernabeu in their first match uh, at that stadium. Real Madrid's first match at that stadium, it was Bulnes. Uh, because Bolnils was actually considered to be um, one of the better teams, if not the best team in Portugal at the time. There you go, a little known fact there uh, that not many people are aware of or would search for. So yeah, master of useless facts um, here. I'm really looking to see how Gunnelons does in this match. I mean, he's a CDM and he's scored quite a few goals. He's become some, somewhat of a beast. Um, uh, for Benfica. I'm so glad that I've bought him and also looking for that elusive first goal for Falcao. Um, that man's had quite a lot of assists. His overall rating is actually quite high. I was looking at the uh, team overview earlier and he's one of our highest uh, average rated players. Uh, he just hasn't scored for some reason. He's, he's had four assists or five assists since he's uh, started with Benfica. Um, but yet yeah, hasn't scored a goal, but which is fine. It's fine if he's getting them assists and he's getting quite high rated, uh, rated rating. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. But I'd still love to score a goal with him. He deserves it. Anyway, here comes Jonas. One and one here. Ah, oh, typical. Couldn't get around that defender. Um, I do too much of that. I'm, I'm like, I panic in the moment, and I think, what should I do? Oh, let's do a trick. Uh, Lose the ball. Oh, well, what can I do about that? Um, but anyway, as you can see, it's been quite um, quite two-sided here. Oh, oh, my God, Julio Cesar almost putting that ball into the back of his own net. Um, but it started quite even. Both teams have been to either side so far. Did have that one-on-one -on -one situation there. Uh, but, yeah, let's see how the rest of the match goes. Uh-oh. Okay, this is the moment, lads. This is the moment the Falcons going to score. Through ball, through ball. Oh, you idiot. You're well offside. What's wrong with your positioning, man? What is wrong with your positioning, Falco? Oh. And it's Swatch with the possession here for Maritimo. Sen picks it up. I don't know how to pronounce that name. It's Sosa now. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Right-footed shot. Julio Cesar just tips it over the near post there. That was definitely close. And Maritimo are proving to be a lot harder than I was expecting them to be. Actually, the easier teams, or the teams that you'd think were, um, were going to be easy, are the ones that tend to be difficult because you, you, you just think of going full-on attack. Uh, against the weaker teams because you think, well, they're not going to defend as well as the others. But um, in the end, they they sort of catch you out on the counter-attack and they're very dangerous and I tend to draw a lot or lose 1-0 against these teams. So I have to be careful here. Anyway, Rafa down the right-hand side. He should be down the left, uh, but he's got the possession. He tries to trick it in and it goes out for a goal kick and uh, nothing comes of it. 
and it's Maritim on the attack again. It's Costa with the ball to Souza. This is getting dangerous on the counter attack. Sen with the possession now. Uh, Swatch with the ball again. Is he going to take a shot? Souza, left footed shot, uh, but he didn't get a good shot on it. Uh, but they're getting dangerous. They're getting really dangerous, and I don't know what our defense is doing. Uh, they're not keeping a good line, and they're not covering very well. Um, so, yeah, it's getting very dangerous, and we could have conceded at least twice in this match so far. Uh, so, yeah, we need to improve. And it's Souza with the possession now for Maritimo. This is getting dangerous again. Besser now, which incidentally is the name of Boavista Stadium. Uh, Carrillo now clears it, but only as far as China. Uh, Suarez with the possession now again. Back to Besser. This is getting dangerous. Souza again. He turns around, takes a right-footed shot. And Julio Cesar with the great save tips it just over the or past the, the near post there. But it was a good opportunity there for Maritimo again. Um, we haven't had many opportunities since that one on one, which wasn't really an opportunity because we didn't get past the defender. But anyway, it's getting dangerous here. Clear it. And it's out for a goal kick finally from Costa's head, uh, which went over the bar. Uh, but yeah, it's getting desperate now. I told you it was going to be difficult playing away against a team in Madeira, any of the two teams really. Nacional or Maritim. Um, but yeah, it would be lovely to get a goal here. Uh, but <laughs> my chances have been slim. And finally, Benfica find themselves with a good chance of a counter attack here. It's Falcon down the right hand side. Can he get another assist? I wouldn't mind if he got an assist, even if he didn't score. He crosses it in. Rafa's there waiting for it. Rafa, the shortest player in the Benfica team. Anyway, Danilo, can he get the ball in? This is typical FIFA for me. Everyone's in there trying to take a shot. Everything is blocked. Um, still, ah. Oh, Oh, Jonas gave away a foul there but look at that craziness in that area there um, this is typical for me in FIFA I get the ball in good positions got it inside the box tried to take as many shots as possible couldn't get it it's all either blocked or misfooted or the player falls over or it's a foul um, but yeah, that's the story of my life in FIFA 17 so far. Jonas with the ball now, passes it to Rafa down the left-hand side where he should be. Uh, who's there waiting for him? I think it's Falco. Oh, it's gone too far out, too far out. He tried it with his head. There was no way that was going to go into the back of the net. Sorry, Falco, you're sweating as well. You're sweating. Um, but good effort, I guess, from that angle. There was no way that was ever going to go in. The goalkeeper had too much time to see the direction of that ball. Uh, but fair play. Maritimo on the counter-attack again. It's Besser down the right-hand side. Passes it to China. Uh, I don't know who's waiting there in the middle. It's Diawara. Oh, the ball is loose and Julio Cesar's down. Gazarayan. Gazarayan. I think he's still got the possession. Tries to turn around. Is he going to get the shot in? The defenders can't get the ball. And it goes just over the bar there. I don't know what I'm doing with the defence yet. I'm not used to the defending in uh, FIFA 17. I've got the button switched around anyway. Uh, but yeah, another close call there. Maritimo nearly getting the first goal. Rafa with the possession now for Benfica, the absolute beast, he's got some pace this guy, he passes it to Jonas, he didn't get it, uh, Carril now down the right hand side, he's a bit tired, uh, but let's see what he can do here, he's passing it to Falco, he's got the possession, and it's gone along, he puts it into the back of the net, what a goal, boom, straight into the back of the net, it's now Mariti Munil, Benfica won, what a game, what a game so far, it's gone from one side to the other, it was Mariti Munil looking the most likely to score, and Gonalons, the absolute monster of a beast of a player, puts it into the back of the net just how I wanted it to. This guy's going to be worth a lot of money. Uh, this guy is a guy that I want to keep for next season while I'm trying to build up my, you know, Champions League winning team. What a, a game so far. What a game. Brilliant game so far. And it's time to make some substitutions. Falco has to come out. He's a bit tired now. Unfortunately, didn't get a goal, but I think he got... The assist, maybe? Anyway, Feja, CDM is going to take the beast out, Gonalons, and Carrillo is going to be substituted by Pizzi. This is just to try and hang on to that lead, um, because I really could do with the three points right now, uh, but I know that Maritimu could come back into this game, and uh, this has happened before. I've made substitutions, and they've scored straight away. Oh, 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 and it's cleared there. It's cleared last minute. They nearly equalised straight away. Um, that would have been really disappointed, but they're still piling on the pressure. It looks like the game's AI has decided that they're going to score, and they're not going to stop until they score. And it's Patrick. Oh, no. Clear it, Martinez. Clear it. Clear the ball. Oh, no. It's still there. And it's just wide off the top right-hand side. That was so close. That was so damn close. 
Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, that time is ticking. We need that final whistle to blow, and it's Maritu Mu. They're piling on a lot of pressure towards the end of the game. I just need to clear it, um, and that's the end of the game. We've won 1 0 away against Maritu Mu, a tough stadium to, to go out and get the three points. We've done it. What a fantastic game that was! Um, a lot of action there, a lot of. Um, chances there from Maritim. I was quite tense throughout most of that match but there you go man of the match gone along and we're gonna go and head on to the next match uh, see what happens in between uh, let's check out our inbox and there you go, lads. The media is picking it up. Gonalons continues to perform. Sells of the shirt. Maybe it was him uh, that got me to the 30 million and not uh, Falcao in the end. Um, Fosho for was quick to heap praise at what has become a very good signing for the club. We'd been looking at Maxime for a long time and uh, no, we haven't. Uh, but uh, I just looked at him, looked at his stats and thought, this guy's going to be a beast. He's big. He's a, a holding play. Holds the ball well. He scores goals. He's got presence in the box when he does get in there. I He's just amazing. I mean, he's an absolute beast. And here's the squad report. Um, to be honest, most of my players are getting good ratings, good average ratings. Uh, Jardel there with a 7.9, 7.7 for Gonalons, which is interesting because another player had 7.9 there. Uh, Falcao with 7.9. I'm, I'm curious as to how he's getting a higher rating uh, than Gonalons. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised. I forgot to look at Jonas there. I wanted to see what Jonas got. Um, was it uh, was it an, an eight? Was it an eight? Oh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> interesting so far. What a game that was. Um, and now we have Vitori Guimarães. Enjoy. So, some fun facts about Guimarães. Well, they were actually the capital of Portugal until the Reconquista, then Coimbra became the capital, and then after that it was Lisbon. So, Lisbon hasn't always been the capital of Portugal. Anyway, an undervalued town city, town stroke city, because they have only got 52,000 inhabitants, which is quite low for a capital and um, a city, but very undervalued in terms of tourism. Uh, towns like, towns and cities like Coimbra, like Guimarães, a lot of the Alentejo region is very undervalued in terms of tourism. So if you ever go to Portugal, visit these places. They're very, they're, they're very interesting places to uh, visit, full of history. Uh, and people are just not aware of them. They always go to Cascais or Sturil or, or, or the Algarve, Faro, Villamora, all these places. But do visit the most important historical places in our country. Um, but anyway, Vitori de Guimarães themselves have had some uh, great players like Ndinga, Zaovic, Paul Bint, actually the former Portuguese coach um, that failed to win the European Cup, which he's a former uh, sporting uh, fan and, and coach as well, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this should be an even match, Guimarães being one of the better uh, teams in the uh, Primeira Liga. They tend to usually come fifth or sixth place. Um, outside of the top four or the top three, you would say they say Strasbourg, but Braga, I consider Braga to be uh, the fourth. Uh, they're the team with the highest attendance in the Primera Liga, even when they were in the second division. Um, and yeah, a very well loved team. Everyone loves them, nobody really hates them. Uh, so yeah, it should be an interesting match. Enjoy the highlights. I forgot to mention that they have Marega on loan from Porto, but for some reason Porto fans seem to think that Marega is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, I tend to disagree, he's a very average striker. Anyway, Guimarães on the attack here, Suarez with the possession. Um, what's going to happen here? Oh, he's still got the possession, it's close, Valint with the ball, oh no! He puts it into the back of the net. What a start there for Guimarães, what a bad start there for Benfica. 14 minutes into the game and we've conceded again because of our defensive errors. Um, yeah, look, our defenders are all over the place. I didn't even want to see the replay because I was so pissed off at that moment. Uh, but yeah, 14 minutes into the game and we've conceded. Uh, we don't want Sporting to catch up to us. I know we have a game against them. If we lose or draw against them and uh, we lose or draw this match, they could potentially go top of the Premier League and that would be very disappointing. Anyway, Benfica with the possession now. A bad pass, bad positioning. Um, yeah, so far, not good. I'm starting to think whether I should change my formation playing against these teams. Uh, maybe a 4-3-3. I have tried that before. It didn't work anyway. Falcao with the possession. Could he score his first goal? No. How unlucky is Falcao? He just can't get the ball on target. He's had a few shots. He just can't do it. 
he just can't do it, which is odd because his finishing is one of his best uh, um, attributes, and I just don't understand. Anyway, corner for Benfica now, it's Carrillo, who's there waiting for it? Martinez, the defender, with his head, oh, so close, great save there. Um, still 1-0 for Guimarães. Uh, we need to pile on that pressure. Uh, Caril with the possession. Now he's going to cross it in. Falcao's there waiting. Oh, it doesn't score. Oh, it's open. And Falcao finally scores his first goal for Benfica with a header. We knew it was going to happen. Falcao finally did it. Maybe this is the start of something beautiful for Falcao. He's already got the assist. He's already one of our highest rated players. And now he's got the goal that he needed to start off a flurry of goals. I'm sure, and Benfica have equalised. Look how happy they are for Falco uh, to have scored that goal. They're all crowding around him. I don't know if the game actually thought about that. Uh, but yeah, what a great goal there from a deflection off the goalkeeper. He saved it, went straight back to Falco's head, and he put it into the back of the net. Sorry, my throat was getting a bit scratchy there from shouting. I was so excited when Falco finally scored there. Uh, that I just, I lost it, I lost it. But anyway, it's Benfica 1, Guimarães 1, and this gives us an opportunity to finally um, get back into this game and get the three points, but Guimarães are not going to stop attacking, as you can see here, down the right-hand side, uh, with Hurtado Aurelio, with the possession now, Valint. Oh no, this could be dangerous, we don't want them to score again, Freda now, and clear it, we've cleared the ball out, and uh, the danger is back with Marega, and finally we clear Gonalon's getting the possession here, passing it to Grimaldo, and it's Jonas now, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, takes a shot and straight to Douglas's hand. Um, he could have put it towards the far post there, he might have got it in, but great effort there from Jonas, and the game continues 1-1, uh, with uh, Guimanej still on the attack, and it's half-time, finally it's half-time, what an exciting first half it was, wow, that was an exciting first half. Rafa with the possession, now for Benfica, Jonas in the centre there, Falcao now passes it to Caril, he should speed down the right-hand side, but he's not going to do that, he's going to leave it to Almeida, and uh, Falcao picks up the ball again, uh, Almeida here in a dangerous position, he could cross it into Jonas, oh, just tapped out there, um, we did have Gonalons waiting, and uh, we don't retain the possession there, and it's a foul now. Gonalons, the beast with the possession. Falcao now, can we get something out of this? Benfica attacking a lot more. Falcao, oh, it's just touched there by the uh, Guimarães defender, I think. It didn't go out. I was hoping it would go out for a corner. Um, but now it's Hurtado. Fete, what weird names they have. Passing it back. Uh, playing a bit dangerously here, Guimarães. And we managed to steal the ball. Falcao. Um, oh no, it wasn't Falcao, it was Danilo Carrillo with the possession. Gonalons. Oh, he could have put it into the back of the net. And Gonalons scores. Another goal for Benfica. How many goals has this man scored? What an absolute beast. Celebrating there on the side of the pitch on top of that sign. Uh, what a goal there from Gonalons. Great reaction. He gets it on the post uh, first and then he had that reaction to get it back into the net. Straight away he was just there, taps it in with his left foot. And Gonalons yet again proving how much of a beast of a player he is. Um, this guy is one for the future. I know he's 27 years old. He's coming up to his prime. Um, what a beast that player is. Uh, anyway, it's uh, Benfica to Gimenez 1. And it's Julius Eze now with the ball. Holding on to it. Letting the time pass. Oh no, he's given it away to Aurelio. And it's Gimenez on the attack here. Surely they can't get the equaliser. Marega, oh! Hits the post and there I was taking the piss out of Marega. And he almost scores, but so far so good. Uh, we retain that 2-1 that we needed, but so close there from Guimarães. Tick-tock, tick-tock, the time is running out for Guimarães. We just need to hold on to it. And we clear it, and the whistle blows. What a fantastic match. I thought the last one was good, uh, but this one just beat it. Uh, I mean, Gonalon's absolute beast. Surely he's man of the match again. That was man of the match in the previous match. He's going to be man of the match in this match. Surely... Um, uh, do I actually check it? I can't even remember if I checked it. Uh, yes, I did. And man of the match, it's Gonalons again. That's two matches in a row. I think he's... Did he score the goal in the previous match? I think he did. Uh, but finally, Falco managed to score a goal as well. And Gonalons again with a second. Um, 
where's Jonas? Is Jonas going to start making an appearance? Anyway, the next match is against Sporting Lisbon, the most important match of the calendar so far. And uh, yeah, enjoy the highlights. Let's go straight to them. Um, nothing happens in between this and the match anyway. Uh, enjoy. But actually, before that, let's go to a press conference because they've got a wonderful manager sporting. He's called George Jesus and he's a poet. He's an absolute poet. So I'm going to leave you with the poet that is George Jesus. Você ontem já me fez esta pergunta. Você é teimoso. É? É, e o que importa aqui, o que importa aqui, o que importa aqui, na minha opinião, minha opinião, dos jogos que o Sporting jogou contra os dois rivais e contra o Braga, na minha opinião, o Braga foi sempre muito mais equipa e muito mais difícil. Na minha opinião. Vou responder pelo que você está a dizer, é? porque o dia de jogo dia de jogo eu estou a pensar é na minha equipe e na equipa do Braga se preocupe-me lá com o que é que os outros dizem mas, mas vou responder se, 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 mas espero bem que você esteja uma, por fazer uma pergunta verdadeira é? É... o meu passado como treinador toda a gente sabe comecei na terceira divisão me considero eu considero um treinador top Há outros que também começaram a carreira, no Vila Franquense, no Fanhões, no Alcochotense, não é? Eles ganhavam bola, bola, não é? Portanto, a diferença está aqui, está aqui quando era naquela altura e está aqui hoje. Esta é a diferença de, de, de uns treinadores para os outros. So, what you may have gathered from that interview there is that, in his opinion, in his opinion, and in his opinion, he's a top coach, top trainer. But fair play to him, he did do well with Benfica, took him to a couple of European finals. Unfortunately, he didn't win them, but now he's at Sporting and we can offend him as much as we want. Um, anyway, we've got an interesting match now against Sporting Lisbon. We're playing away. This is a crucial one to get three points if we beat them away, especially, and uh, cement ourselves on top of the Primera Liga. Enjoy! A relatively good start here for Benfica. Rafa picking up the ball on the left-hand side. Grimaldo making a run, and he's making that run. Passes it to Godelont. Uh, back heel there to Jonas. He loses it. Um, Falco here chasing it, uh, but we've lost the possession now. Uh, almost got a foul there as well. Anyway, Caril with the possession down the right-hand side. Falco waiting for it. Can we take the shot? Godelont. Oh, just deflected as usual, and it goes out for a corner. Let's see if anyone can get their head to it. Uh, Jonas there waiting. Falco also. And it's Jardel waiting for the ball there. Falco. It's Rafa. Takes a shot. Oh, that was close. Out for another corner. And Benfica on fire. 12 minutes into the game. We've had total control so far. And uh, Carrillo there taking the corner for Benfica. With Danilo waiting for the ball there. It's still not cleared. And Jonas is there waiting for it. And it's a goal. Tips his head over the goalkeeper. He won that over Rui Patricio. Uh, in my opinion, one of the better goalkeepers in Europe. And manages to put it into the back of the net. 15 minutes into the game, he got some height there. I don't know who he was competing with there. Was it uh, Silva? No, I don't know. But anyway, he put the ball into the back of the net. And it's now Sporting nil. Benfica won such a crucial match. And we're ahead thanks to that beast Jonas. What a goal there. Joel Campbell for Sporting, former Arsenal man. He's a good player. He's actually a good player. Holds on to the ball, goes around the defence. Oh my God, is he going to score? No! I don't know if Julia Cesar actually touched the ball there, but that was very close. A great effort there from Joel Campbell. I might look into his stats. He's relatively young and he's quite a good player there. Uh, no, it goes out for a goal kick, so it was actually wide. Uh, but yeah, great effort there from Sporting. Danilo now with a possession to Jonas. Can we get a second goal here? Gonalons to Falco. He's got another opportunity. Oh, just wide off the near post there. Again, missing that target. So far, he's only been good uh, with set pieces and uh, headers, obviously. Um, but yeah, he hasn't found the finishing with his feet. Uh, but yeah, still a good performance here from Benfica. Still winning 1-0. Still uh, set to dominate the top of the Portuguese league. And uh, yeah, it's good so far. Here comes Rafa down the left-hand side. Uh, let's see if he can maintain that possession. Jonas there trying to pass to Falco, but it's cleared here from Sporting. Interesting match so far. I was expecting more from Sporting. Anyway, it's uh, William Carvalho now with the possession. Dost 
uh, loses and Benfica are on the attack again it's Falcao picking up the ball near the middle there no we've lost it again William Carvalho to Andre now with a possession and uh, can he go on that defence he's still got the possession he's not letting go of it he's still got the possession left footed shot and it's wide another missed opportunity there for Sporting which is good for Benfica uh, but they're showing to be a little bit more uh, lively they're trying to get back into this game 76 minutes into it uh, it's getting a bit late there for them so the AI is kicking in trying to score a goal and equalise um, but if any of it it's going to be Benfica to score the next goal I hope anyway Danilo now with the ball, passes it to Gonalons. Falcao there waiting, he's one-on-one -on -one with that defender there. Jonas coming up on the left-hand side, does a little trick. <laughs> Rolls the ball back and scores with the other foot. What a goal there from Jonas, that's two in this match. I was saying, when is Jonas going to appear? Because he hasn't appeared so far um, for me in FIFA 17, but he's making a little bit of a comeback here, scoring two goals in one match. Can he make a hat-trick? Nice little trick there to confuse the players. Rolls it back, hits it with his left foot, straight into the back of the net, and it's now Sporting nil, Benfica 2. There's no way that we're not going to get the three points from this match. Fantastic goal there from a fantastic striker. I've got a lot of time for Jonas. He's a great player. Tick tock, tick tock, the clock is ticking. We just need to clear this ball as soon as we've cleared it. I'm sure it'll be the end of the match. Come on, referee, blow that whistle. And there we go, that's the end of the match. Benfica winning 2-0 at Sporting Stadium. It couldn't get any better than that, especially after that George Jesus press conference. All right, that wasn't a real press conference <laughs> for this match, but yeah, um, it was a fantastic game. This time Jonas uh, shining there, but Gonalons did get um, one assist, I think, there, and Falco got the other, so a great game for them as well. Let's go and see who the man of the match is, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Jonas. We controlled most of that match. There wasn't that many opportunities um, either side, but the ones that we did take, we did score, or the majority of them anyway, two of them. Uh, so, yeah, fantastic match there for uh, Benfica. So, there we go, lads. There's the table. We're five points ahead of Sporting, and then Braga third. Porto making a slight comeback and coming back up the table um, to fourth position. They beat Borvista, I think, three or four nil. Uh, but yeah, what an exciting episode. Thank you for all the lovely comments that you've been leaving in the past episodes. If you want a shout out, let me know. Please leave a like if you would like to leave a like. Leave a comment, say whatever the hell you want. I'll respond to it. I'm a guy that will respond to as many comments as possible. And keep watching, lads. I love your support and I hope to maintain your support in the future. Um, yeah, exciting episode. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Have a good weekend.